What's going on guys? We are back at it again with another short little series on a chapter or DLC or whatever you want to call it on Elder Scrolls Online. I love this game guys. I don't know if you guys have noticed or anything like that, but I'm always consistently playing this game. As you can see on the top left corner, I'm at CP 1479 and climbing because I do play this game off the camera because I really thoroughly enjoy this game. In this one, however, we're going to get started on a brand new one on the Somerset chapter. Uh, I've said this in the beginning of every single series that I've done here on ESO. I have played through the entire chapter of the entire game, pretty much. Uh, but I've never paid attention to any of the DLCs, any of the chapters or anything like that in terms of story content. Because I've always wanted to save all of that for you guys here on the channel. So, for all intents and purposes, we will be going through this blind uh to a certain extent so take that into consideration going through this as you can see however i do have a couple of changes with my character this is the same character except now he is a male instead of a, fe a female uh this character used to be called lucia invictus now it's augustus titus invictus um basically the same thing uh, I got a better look for him and everything. I'm pretty excited. For all intents and purposes, though, it's exactly the same character. So pretty excited to get started on this DLC. However, if you are to do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Great mage needs to speak to you. Alrighty. So, I just accepted the quest over uh, from the crown shop because you can do the, the prologues. I forgot to mention, uh, we'll be doing the prologue first and then we're going to be going into the actual chapter itself as I usually do. So, let's go ahead and talk to him and see what happens. Vanis Galarian, I remember him. Good to see you again, my friend. I sent that message stone days ago. I was worried it hadn't reached you. Let me set aside what I was working on, and then we can get down to business. Business? Why have you been contacting me? It seems I have a message for you from an oracle. It came to me in a most unsettling manner. But this isn't the proper way to hold a conversation. Meet me at the Mage's Guild Hall in Daggerfall. We can speak freely there. What's wrong with speaking here? This is a waste of magicka. Important business should be conducted in person, and matters involving an oracle require a modicum of privacy. Besides, no one else can see me. You appear to be talking to yourself. I mean, the good thing is... Well, I can't really say that there's nobody here at my house, because I do have my banker and my merchant and everything, so never mind. I digress. Alright, I'll meet you at Daggerfall Mages Guild. Um... Okay, see you later, Vanis. I'll see you in a second. I'm just going to go ahead and fast travel. I was going to run to uh, Bethnic or whatever it's called um, there in Craglorn, but I'm just going to end up fast traveling to, uh, to Daggerfall. I love Daggerfall. It is literally my favorite city or my favorite town in ESO. Uh, I, just, I just love the whole scenery. I love everything about it, man. Daggerfall is cool as hell. Hey, look, it's a Vanis imitation. Okay, whoops. Let's go, man. We got somewhere to be. Alright, the Mage's Guild should literally be right here. There it is. No, I did not. I must speak to Mr. Vanis Galarian. Okay, then. Let me read a bookshelf so I can get some Bastion Report. Hey, Vanis. Well, I was about to portal to Eleanor for a proper meal. But since you're here now, we might as well discuss that message. It came from Mari, an oracle of the weird. I usually avoid soothsayers. But Mari possesses a genuine talent. And this oracle mentioned me by name? Down to the last syllable. Her predictions are open to interpretation. But her words made me uneasy. A web of trouble. The island that went away, three dark princes, and your name. After that, she stopped responding to my projections. 
Hold on, what does all of this mean? It means you need to find the Oracle and make sure she's all right. I enchanted a small boat to take you to an isolated part of Glen Umbra, near her last known location. And take this medallion of summoning. Use it to call upon me if the need arises. All right, I'll go check on the Oracle, um, Mar Marive. As it so happens, the great mage knows a great deal about a great many things. Of course you do. What else can I tell you before you go? Uh, tell me about the Oracle. Oracle Marive belongs to the Weird, a sisterhood of witches that revere the natural world. Marive started receiving visions at a young age. Over the years, she has provided the Mages Guild and the Sigic Order with warnings we could act upon. What kind of warnings? The usual sorts of dire predictions. Most recently, Mari foresaw the deaths of Kings Fulbert and Tamling. She has an unusual knack, an ability to see into other realms as well as into possible futures. It makes her useful to the Sigic Order. Okay, okay. The Sigics are involved, I suppose. Probably not. I honestly don't know. Uh, if you think the Oracle is in danger, why didn't you bring her here? Believe me, I tried. Mm. Mariv has always been a loner, even more so than her fellow Weirises. She said she had more to do and that you would come to save her. So get to it. Go save the Oracle. And get her to tell you more about her vision. Why did the Oracle's message make you uneasy, though? Uneasy? I don't believe that's the word I used. Nevertheless, her prophetic verses tend to be loquacious and hauntingly beautiful. This one was... terse. It mentioned trouble of some sort, a vanishing island and dark princes, probably Daedra. Got it, got it. So what do those things mean? Well. Trouble could mean almost anything, <laughs> Duh. but nothing good. The island could refer to Arteum, the home of the Sigic Order. It disappeared more than 300 years ago. And I have heard rumors about some sort of Daedric Alliance. Daedric Alliance? Hmm. Uh, why does she specifically mention me, though? You'll have to take that up with the Oracle. I suppose you figured into her vision or... Whatever it is that spawns her prognostications. If this message came from anyone else, I'd say it was some sort of ruse. Mariv, however, is the genuine article. Got it. Uh, but why do I need an enchanted boat for? Surely you can puzzle that one out on your own. It will take you exactly where I told it to go. But the magic isn't permanent. Best get a move on. You don't want to be on that tiny boat in the middle of the ocean when the spell wears off. <laughs> Not at all. All right. Give me the enchanted boat and I'll be off. Give you the... What? <laughs> Do you think I have a boat in my pocket? Yeah. That it folds up and fits in your backpack? <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> it's nearby on the docks. I'll mark the location on your map. I mean, if you're the great mage, I'm sure you can conjure up some spell and do exactly that, right? Um, And what do I do with the medallion of summoning again? I did He's gonna get mad. The Oracle provided me with right, didn't I? <coughs> I've magic the medallion so that you can use it to call me to your location, provided the need is great and I'm not otherwise occupied. Be sure to save it for a special occasion. All right, Ivanis. Take care, my friend. My egotistical friend. Perhaps even borderline narcissistic. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Well, he did say the dock, so obviously it's in this direction. Past the vendors and everything. For Narnia! Ow. For Narnia times two! Wow, that one. I got some distance on that one. <clears throat> what do you guys think of the, the look of this guy, by the way? I think he looks cool. Best. Good. I'm glad he disappeared. I think he looks dope. Just like this. I did do a Stamplar and Magplar that I do want to test out in future DLC expansions and stuff that we've done or that we're still that we still have to do let me know if you guys want me to play in the next um expansion which I think is the Merkmire DLC um with a Magplar or Stamplar let me know down in the comment section if you guys want to see one of those and if you do let me know which one you want to see and then I'll consider 
which uh, which one I will be playing with. Or unless if you want to see me play with my hybrid build, which is this guy, uh, let me know. And I'll play more with this one. I love playing with this character anyways, but the Stamplar is pretty fun. Uh, particularly, the Magpar is pretty fun too though. So yeah, let me know down in the comment section and uh, we'll figure something out. Oh, I could fish here? Where am I anyways? Glenumbra. This doesn't look very secret. Um. Okay. We, wait, hold on. We came... Uh-oh. You see nothing, crocodile. Who's this guy? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of him in a second, maybe, perhaps. We could have literally just rode. He made it seem like we went so far. So, in the boat, we just basically went around in this direction. How ridiculous. Oh, hello. I got the wrong guy. I wanted to hit this guy with the champ with the uh, radiant. But oh well. It's okay. Investigate the Oracle's dwelling. So this is where the Oracle lives. Not one of those Daedric monstrosities. Uh no. First these Daedric aberrations and now you? What trouble has Oracle Mariv dredged up this time? Uh Venice Galarian sent me to make sure the Oracle was alright. The great mage? Absolutely. That doesn't surprise me. He's always had a peculiar <clears throat> fascination with Mariv's talents. My sister prefers her solitude, but we come by occasionally to check on her. When I arrived, the Daedra were everywhere, but Mariv wasn't here. Yeah, she contacted Vanis, uh, mentioned my name specifically. Know anything about that? Uh, any, anything about that, please? Interesting. I noticed fresh ink on one of her parchment sheets. I think she was writing something when the Daedra appeared. This vision must have been special to attract the attention of those unnatural creatures. Yeah, for real. Uh, do you think the Daedra harmed the Oracle? I think she might have left, to be honest. She saw them coming probably left. Perhaps, but there's no evidence of violence here. No, I think she sent her message and escaped to a place of safety. Me too. Probably the old weird site in what is now the Mines of Chorus. It's a good place to hide. Seek Mari there. Okay, I'll go to the Mines of Kuris and try to find the Oracle. I wonder if I'm going to see Neo there too. Be careful. Those old mines may be abandoned, but that doesn't mean they're empty. Meanwhile, <clears throat> I shall tell my sisters what occurred here. Low-key, I kind of really like this little dwelling of hers. How far is it? Do I have to go back to the boat? That was fast. All of that literally just to get on the boat. I mean, uh, just to go to her house and leave. Okay. <clears throat> Wait. What? We went from Glenumbra, or, or from uh, Daggerfall, to here, and now we're here. We didn't even need to take a boat to come here. We could have walked and been here in like two minutes. Mines of Curus. That did not last long at all. <laughs> Alrighty. Where are we at? Oh, hello. You can continue sleeping, it's okay. Stabby stab. Oh, you didn't die? Take an arrow to the face. Oh, I've been here before. Oh, there's a quest right here. I don't think I'm gonna do it yet, though. Uh, find the oracle in the mines. Oh, we got another player over here. Hello. Oh, that's that's the player. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I was thinking. I honestly don't know where I'm going, so I'm literally just trying to figure this out as I'm going. I think the player might have killed everybody in this direction, though. That is the problem with online games. Sometimes, like especially with bosses and having to like well uh, wait around. <coughs> Hello. Oh, that's that's a good guy. Hmm. It kind of a okay. So it's in this direction. So I'm I'm assuming it's somewhere over here, but it's not showing on my map for some strange reason. 
Isn't this the boss? It is. Let's kill him. Ha! Ah! Kamehameha! Nice. Girdle of the Weird Tree. Yeah, there's nothing here, so... Let's continue. Wait, hold on. No, there's a way... Over here. Looks like it's in this direction? Is there... I would have never realized I had to go through this little butthole. I was kind of confused. Although I did, if I'm being completely honest, I did kind of remember that there was something there. But not really. <gasps> hey! That tells me one thing. They haven't got the Oracle. One. Two. That scared the shit out of me. Bastion being a tank is literally a godsend. Alright, where are we going? Come on, Bastion. Stay with me, my friend. I want to look around. You never know what we're going to find. I, I don't know, something. Exploration is not really that great. Uh, note to Vanis. This is what she was writing. Okay, since this is directly tied with the story, I'm actually going to read it, so bear with me, guys. I am horrible at reading. You have been warned. Uh, Vanis, the recent visions I ha uh, the the recent visions have attracted unwanted attention. First, they surrounded my dwelling. We noticed. Then they attracted me to this place. I sh uh, I assumed was safe. I should have never come here. Remember the messages I sent you in the past? Always rife with elements of surprise. Our talks were like a ritual to me. I hope you find them in the proper order. M. Medallion of Summoning? The summoning worked perfectly as I knew it would. I assume you need my assistance? Yeah. You decided to utilize the Medallion of Summoning very well. Then you might as well tell me how the search for the Oracle goes. Well, first of all, she's talking in riddles in her note. Uh, but regardless, not well. Daedra chased her from her dwelling and she, then she came here. But all I found was, was this note. Let me see that. Hmm. A little too familiar a greeting to my taste, but the Oracle always follows her own path. Ah, oh, clever Marie. Very clever. She left us a secret message and hid it in plain sight. Uh, I mean, it figured. Secret message? It's all in the turn of phrase. Messages, elements, ritual, proper order. It makes perfect sense to someone who knows her well. The weird revere nature in the elements. We need to perform an elemental ritual to receive the message. To be fair, I don't know her at all, and even I realized it was some sort of a code. So, what do we do? Look for items that represent the elements. Air, earth, water. I'll find the prepared ritual site, and you place the items in the proper order. That should do the trick. A little ostentatious, but I suppose that's part of being an oracle. Alright, I'll find the ritual items. Okay, well one's right here. That was not very hard to find. The weirds draw power from the earth bone. A pure gemstone. You don't get much closer to elemental earth than that. I already found both all the last two. Gourd. <coughs> Excuse me. Of water. Well, that's disappointingly obvious. Arif must have been in a hurry. Okay. Where's the last one? Right here. A feather. What's that? Feather? Uh huh. Wait a moment. What's light as a feather? Air. Is that a hint? Weird rituals aren't complicated. Just place the items in the proper bowls. Okay, I want to talk to you it first. Looks like you found items with ties to the weird elements. 
Shall we proceed with Mariv's ritual? Yeah, but how do I begin? No doubt Mariv wanted us to place the items in the proper ritual bowls. Rustic magic can be a bit archaic for my taste. I hope you can figure out which items go in which bowl. Um... Tell me more about the weird. The sisters of the weird serve the Elnafei, the earth bones. They revere nature and the elements. Rather primitive, but I appreciate the work they do. I especially find the notion that they draw power from a tree to be delightfully rural. I would never be able to pronounce this if he had not said it. The Elnofe, and I'm probably going to forget it in about two minutes. Um, what's the deal with the engraved bowls? I assume they're part of the ritual. See how each one is engraved with a different symbol? No. Match the proper item to the correct bowl, and that should release the magic. I'll stand here. Of course you will. I don't want my excess energy to disrupt Mariv's spell. Got it. Okay, I'll try to place the items in the bowl now. The ritual bowls are over there. The sooner you place the correct items, the sooner we'll receive Mariv's message. Fair enough. Huh. Okay. No doubt Mariv. Yeah, we've already went through that. So let me see. Primitive pictograph? I have no idea what that is. That's probably the gemstone? Um, this one might be the feather. Well, it definitely looks like the feather. I think this one's water. So let's go with water. And then on this one, let's go with the feather. And then the last one, the gemstone. Did I win? Oh, something is happening. Easy enough. What is that? Oh. Master Vanus, is that you? Wow, that was, uh, I missed the you're, summoning. You're the one I saw in my <coughs> I knew you'd be able to puzzle out my clues. But listen, I haven't much time. Wait, where are you? The Chaos Bringers, they caught me. They're taking me to an alien ruin somewhere in Oridon. Bawan, I think they said. Look, they'll be back soon. I have to tell you about my vision. It concerns Somerset and Arteum. Somerset? Arteum? What are you talking about? Somerset, the green and pleasant island of the High Elves. Arteum, the vanished home of the Sigic Order. Both are caught in a dark and terrible web. I saw it. My visions. They aided the Sigics in the past. Now, others seem interested. Wow, okay, so... Who are these others? Servants of the Dark Princes. They want to use my gift. Get me to reveal the location of Arteum. You need to help me, Bawan. They're taking me to... Oh no, they're coming back. I'll find you at Bawan. Hurry, remember Bawan. Well, she screwed. That sounded not good. No. You really should make haste and get to Bawan. The Oracle has need of you. Uh, aren't you coming with me? <clears throat> no. This affair has taken on a completely different meaning. If Arteum and the Sigic Order are involved, and I need to keep the Mages Guild out of it, what happens next falls on your shoulders. Of course it does. You'll find Bawan on Oridon's west coast. Um... What's the Sigic Order? The Sigic Order is a monastic society <coughs> that follows the old ways of magic. I belonged to the Order myself back in the day, before a disagreement over another member led me to break ranks and form the Mages Guild. We no longer see eye to eye. Oh, okay, makes sense. The Oracle is a weir, weir, wirus, wirus? This word. How is she connected to the Sigic Order? Mariv not only sees into the hidden places, she has a way to contact them. It allows her to communicate with the Sigic Order's right master. I assume that's one way the Order keeps track of affairs on Nern from wherever it is they hid their island. And how would that interest these Chaos Bringers? Because they might be able to use her to locate Arteum. At least, that's my working theory. 
I will alert the Mages Guild of Somerset about the threat, and then go to the Guild Hall in Skywatch. Meet me there after you retrieve the Oracle. Uh... The Oracle mentioned Somerset and Arteum. Can you tell me more about them? Somerset is the ancient home of the High Elves. I was born and raised there. Mariv's vision suggests a threat to the island. There are people I need to warn. As for Arteum, it's the home of the Sigic Order. It doesn't currently reside on Nern. So it's... Uh... Okay. Uh, what do you mean Arteum doesn't currently reside in Nern? Or on Nern? The island vanished 350 years ago. The right master hid it in some pocket plane for who knows what purpose. I studied at the Kapora Tower during my time with the Order. But Sigic magic was too flashy for my taste. Uh, why won't you help me save, uh, the Oracle? I've done more than enough. My break from the Order and the subsequent formation of the Mages Guild has never sat well with my former teachers. If this involves the Sigics, <laughs> I won't do anyone any good by insinuating myself deeper into this affair. Who are the Chaos Bringers, uh, that the Oracle mentioned? I have my suspicions. They're obviously connected to the Dark Princes that Mariv mentioned, but beyond that... I don't think they plan to harm the Oracle, at least not immediately. They have something more insidious in mind. What do you think they want with her? Probably the same thing everyone wants. To get her to reveal something they want to know. And I'm concerned it might involve the Sigic Order. Mariv's abilities allow her to unveil hidden things and find lost places. Places such as Arteum. Got it. So basically, they're, it's basically the clockwork quest line all over again. So, optional steps, travel via the enchanted boat. Where is it? That, that doesn't help me. It's literally just a delve here in this place. Okay. We're gonna go take the boat just, just because we can. Except... Now we have to escape from here. How do I get out of here? I don't even know where I'm at right now. I'm lost. No, wait. It's this way, right? Bastion attack! Yeah, you got that. Oh! I completely missed and hit a rat. I saw him last second. No, wait. It's this way, right? I'm literally just guessing as I'm going along right now. <laughs> You're free, lady. Escape. Sit your butt down. Man, once I place that down, the damage really does scale, doesn't it? Nighty night. Haha. -ha. That was easy enough. Bloodthorn orders. I'm not gonna go ahead and read that. You guys can push pause if you guys want to read it. I'm not. Not until post at least. Nope. Bastion, you said that prematurely, buddy. Should never Put your arms down till you're absolutely sure there's no more threat. Clearly, there was still a threat. Okay. So, where is this enchanted boat? Whoa, that was hard to find. <coughs> oh, we're in Ardoron now. This is the starting area for the Aldermary Dominion, isn't it? think it is. Where am I going? Oh, it's literally just in here. Excuse me, sir. I can't Must get through. That leads to the unknown. Whatever you say there, Bastion. 
My mouse is really sensitive. Whoa, I just dropped my mouse. My mouse is really sensitive right now. I don't know why. I think I need to unplug it. I'll do it after I'm done, though. Okay, where are we? Haha! -ha! Enemies! <clears throat> I like starting on my magic side rather than my stamina side because I'm always literally running around and it gives my stamina side a little bit of extra time to to recharge. How do I get to said location? So I need to go left through here and then around. So left this way, right? It's got to be. Oh. This way. Uh who are you? Ah! You s Dude, you scared me, bro. Sit your butt down. You know what? I'm gonna fight. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm not gonna do this right now. Right now, I just kinda wanna focus on... This way? Yes. Very nice. Uh oh. You're not going anywhere, bud. Is it this way? Honestly, I hate delves sometimes. <gasps> it completely. It just completely cut her off. That was funny. But at least they didn't shut this down, so we might have a chance to save her. Whoa, that's a cool image. That is a really cool image. I'm over here cracking my knuckles getting ready for this fight. I don't think they will. See? I tried telling you. I hate spiders, dude. I really do. Oh. Shut up, Bastion. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? Leave me alone. Be nice to me. Damn, these guys are really buff. Where are these guys at? Huh? The court of Bedlam admires tenacity, but only a willing Put sacrifice. A willing Everywhere. sack, okay. Step forward and die. Too easy. Too easy. Oh, we got some giant spider men or women. Whatever they are, I don't know what they are. They're just spider people. They drug things. Oh, whatever. I'll just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> They're spider things. Don't think. Move. Yeah, what what did thinking ever do to any for anybody anyways, huh, Bastion? Attack, damn it. I was lagging pretty hard on that one. That was pretty... That was pretty intense. Uh... How do I get to the other one? I literally... I understand that spider. I pissed him off because I fell right on him. Excuse me, Bastion. I got somewhere I gotta be. Dude, there's so many freaking spiders. True story, I really hate spiders, dude. Very nice. Did you say Dunzo? The spiders gotta be around here somewhere, right? 
Oh. I think I... Yeah, I found it. Okay. Got it. I finally found it. Hello, buddy. I got something for you. No, I'm gonna drop another one since it did actually clip it last time. Ooh. So that's it, right? Now I gotta just go to the middle? How do I get there? Oh, I could just... I could just go right... Uh, I don't know what happened there, but okay. Hey, dude, oh, I wanna... That looks pretty cool. Time is short. <clears throat> the Dark Princes have almost achieved their goal. You must help me. I don't understand. What are they tr uh what are they doing to you? Mafala believes she can reach Arteum through me. These bindings. Ugh, you must find a way to break them. How do I break the bindings? She, she just said I have to f never mind. Mafala's magic infuses the webs that bind me defeat the weavers and break the pinions then destroy the center fulcrum that secures me to this place okay well i already destroyed the two so how do i destroy the center full oh i was supposed to go up oh, i was supposed to break those things not just kill them but also break the okay got it tracking the good thing is they're already dead, so I don't really have to do anything. That's one down. Can I get on my horse? Of course not, because this game is freaking stupid. It's not. I love this game. But still. Oh no! Spiders! Nice! <clears throat> and just like that... We have arrived at our destination. Thanks, Siri. One second. Okay, one second. I got some uh, pest control that I gotta take care of. should visit Skywatch one day. Oh! So, I'm, I'm assuming we're going to Skywatch? Oh, there it is, Skywatch. The main city in Ar Ar Aridon. I could never say that properly. I, I give up. All right, Bastion. I didn't get a chance to thank you for what you did for me. Even though I sometimes see far away places and future events, <coughs> nothing can ever be truly certain. I knew you were coming to rescue me, but that didn't alleviate my fear. I thought I was going to die in Mafala's realm. Thank you. Yeah, no, of course. Um, can you explain what they were doing back there? As an oracle. I can connect with other times, other places. I sometimes use that ability to converse with the Sigic Rite Master to keep him informed of events on Nern. Mafala's agents tried to use that connection to locate the hidden island. Did they succeed? No. You arrived in time to stop them. But it was a close thing. The portal was nearly attuned to Arteum's location when you set me free. And once again, the visions that haunt me came to pass. The weird people are Bretons, aren't they? Not 100% sure. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys know the answer to that question. Uh, where's our Arteum exactly? <laughs> I have no idea. Just because I can sense the island and reach out to communicate with the Rite Master doesn't mean I actually understand the magic they use. I'm a Weiris, not a Sijic. It's somewhere else that's all I really know perfect explanation I know how to get there now thank you uh, what about the rest of your vision oh everything I saw remains true 
The Dark Princes continue to circle Somerset like vultures around Carrion, and they still crave Arteum and its secrets. Your presence will play a pivotal role in the outcome. Good luck, my friend. Farewell, Marive. Oh, I had a feeling that was... I saw him walk... I saw peop someone walking in this direction that was wearing an outfit like Vanis. Uh, I thought it was a female, though, but I guess not. Not that I'm <laughs> overly concerned, but I see you were able to retrieve the oracle. Care to tell me what happened? Uh, well, first of all, I saved the oracle from Mephala's realm. They tried to uh, to use her to find Artam. Mephala? It was Mephala. She must be one of the three dark princes in Mariv's prophecy. You stop this attempt, but I fear Somerset and Artam are still in danger. Perhaps. Uh, what do you suggest we do? We? Because of the connection to the Sigic Order, I have to tread carefully. The right master, we don't exactly see eye to eye. You'll need to go to Somerset. Determine if the threat Marie foresaw is imminent or a worry for another day. I thought Somerset was close to the, uh, uh close to outsiders. Yes, the author <coughs> has a few peculiar notions. But, as luck would have it, I heard that Queen Irene has just issued a decree to open Somerset to immigrants and visitors. That's the perfect excuse for you to investigate the island. Fair enough. What happens to the Oracle now? We'll show Mariv the hospitality of the Mages Guild and make sure she's fully recovered from her ordeal. Then I'll make sure to get her back home. Thanks for your aid in this matter. Now, get to Somerset and do what you do best, my friend. Will do. Thank you. Always fun. So, for the record, Artem is right here. Nice to meet you, Marive. I suppose after I examine your garden and collect my thoughts, if that's all right. She has thoughts? Of course, Oracle. Come inside whenever you're ready. Bit kinky, don't you think? Just kidding. All right, so I guess now we go to Somerset. <laughs>